four, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> and then you're going to come back the other direction. Well, see, that's not where I want it. You don't want it on the very end. You're wanting it over here. Don't worry about those spires looking really bad because you'll bend them later. And you can bend this right underneath. Hold it where you want it. And then you start winding. You don't have to wind much, but try and wind over where you already wind, and that'll hold it a lot better. So, I didn't do a very good job on this. I'm trying to hurry, um, but just make sure it's tight and cut off the extra. And you bend it and have the top going up like this. And I hear a two-year-old coming after me. If you're, if you want dimension, you want these beads not at the top, but down a little further. You have them, you just twist them like that. And then you have nice little twisties, which I think are cute. Just a second, Catherine. You can twist as much as you want. If you, we have one that's too long, twist it down. Or you can just take the whole thing and twist it over if it's way too long. So that is the uh, Linda crown. This next section is going to deal with teeny tiny little um, flower sprays. And you make a whole bunch of these and they look like little bitty flowers. And you could put these on your tiaras and crowns as well. And uh, they're just pretty. So, I'll show you how to make those. Take a wire, dip it in your beads, and I like, like I said, always use odd numbers. I've already dipped this one into some blue beads. I've put seven of them on there, and then you, you just dip them in, fold it in half, and you have seven. Get them as, much, as close to the top that you, as, that you can. Make sure there's beads on both sides, on both sides of the wire when you twist it. And if you really want, you can use your twister. Then you take another wire and you string one bead of a different color. In this case, I used gold. And you twist that on there. These are the ones that you're going to be making a ton of. And you're going to put it right in the middle. Like that and you're going to twist those together and you have your little flower spray yeah. there you go and you can make a whole bunch of them put it on your little tiara yeah. the next tiara we're doing is a green one and it's basic it has seven swarovski crystals on top and it has seed beads wrapped along the bottom and it could go either way on the top of their head around their hair however you'd like We've already begun with the wrapped wire for the base and we curve the ends. Then we wrap one end of a long wire on there and strain, um, put seven of the crystals on. And, uh, and just want to put the crystals right where you want them. Wrap them around. One on there, hold it, wrap it. Continue that way all the way around. And I have actually run out of room. I'm just going to take that one off. No big deal. Now you're going to flip it over. So your, your, your crystals are all, you have to hold them there, but they're all on one side. And the wire is pretty thick. I think I used 26 gauge on it. Uh, you might want to use 28 gauge because it's a little tough on my finger here. But uh, there's your crystals. You could leave it just like that if you really wanted to. But you don't have to. The wire that's left over is quite long. You're going to take uh, another bead. Uh, what are we using? Uh, we're using...
using these again. Just put on, what you do is you multiply however many beads you have, or however many crystals you have by three. So we have six, so six times three is 18. So put on 18 seed beads, because you want three on each. A lot of times I don't even count. I just get a bunch on there, and then as I'm twisting them around, I count. That's not 18, but um, it's enough to show you. You take three seed beads and leave them on there. Then you're gonna you're working kind of working backwards. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna flip it upside down. There's one set of three, and you go down. Another set, and you go right in between the crystals, and you go up. There's another set. Let them go. Hold them with your left hand. Go around. Pull it tight. And then you do that all the way across. And I'll do that, and I'll come right back. Okay, we're all done with this one, except to bend it into shape. And uh, let's see. Um, I think I'm gonna like it like this. To get that really nice bend, you're going to want to use something round. You could use your thingamajig, or I like to use the wire, but that's also too big. Um, I use the bead holder, and I start with something big, and then I work my work my way smaller. That one's too big, too small. Um, just. Make sure you get them wrapped around so that it looks like a tiara and not just a U. And there you go. Next we have the Fire Opal tiara and it's made basically the same way as all the rest. Um, just take your, your crystals. You'll have your base wire for, for the headband. I've twisted it and twisted the ends under and that's just my, that's straight right there. Take your thin wire and your crystals Put your crystals on, put it down in the middle, meet up the ends, hold your crystal right there, and twist. And do this, uh, let's see, 10 times, and I have 10 of them right here. And then what you're going to do is you like to start in the middle, and a lot of times you want the middle one taller. But you, you start in the middle, and you put it like here. And it's very important, you're wondering, how do you get them to stay standing up? Well, this is how you do it. You wrap that wire um, around the front to the back, and then you go, you push it to the other side of the wire, and then you go the opposite direction. Go one way, and then the other side, wrap it over itself, and go the other way. Uh, let me see if I can show you with this one here. Um, just... I'm just using this bigger wire to show you how it's done. You hold it on there, go one way, and then you take it across and go the other way. And if that's still not strong enough, you can take the wire that's over here, bend it straight, and go back the other direction again. And uh, you just keep doing that with all of them. This is just a practice wire, so I'm cutting it off. And I've twisted each one of these. Remember, you do want them different heights. And then you put those wide. Down like that. Whew. My fingers are about done with all this tiny wire work. You pull this up one way. Cross it over. And go around the other side. I don't think I twisted directions there, but only little tiny ones. As long as you go on both sides, you wrap the wire on both sides of your spire, it's going to stand up, and that's how you get it to stay. Because making tiaras that only have hanging ones is kind of